The tiny little screen on the MC707 makes uh, chopping samples quite laborious. So I wanted to use Ableton um, to do that instead because the simpler instrument is nice and easy to use. Um, but I couldn't find a tutorial that showed how to export the individual slices you make as WAV files. So once I'd figured out how to do it, I thought I'd make a quick video. So this is simpler. Um, I won't do a tutorial on this because there are loads of videos on that. But basically, I've just dragged a little drum break into it and I've made three slices. So to uh, export these three slices, the first step you need to do is to right click on the waveform and then um, just select slice to drum rack. Now Ableton automatically uh, changes this to a drum rack that has the three samples on three pads. If you then click this little tray icon, it will show you the waveform. And in here you can edit your start and end points. Um, you can also put fades in and out to get rid of any clicks or anything like that. And once you're happy with that, the second step is to right click on the WAV file again uh, and uh, just uh, clip, uh, sorry, click this option that says crop sample. So do that for all of the um, slices that you want to export. Right click, crop sample. Um, that's it, you're finished with Ableton now, so you can um, close Ableton and you now want to go into the project folder that uh, that, that Ableton instance um, relates to. So this is the sample chop um, project I created for this tutorial, so if we go into that, we then go into the samples folder, we then need to go to the processed folder, and then this crop folder is where the slices will have been exported to. And there they are. These are the three samples we just uh, created. Um, this, uh, these are WAV files, so they will work perfectly on the 707 or any kind of um, sampler. But the other benefit of doing it in Ableton like this is that if the sample you want to work with is different to the project tempo on your groove box or on your sampler, you can use Ableton's warp function to make it fit uh, into the project. Um, so that's another great benefit. Anyway, I hope that was useful and thanks very much for watching.